Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about a video which has become national news for a wrong reason. Here we are talking about a Munna's helicopter crash. So based on the information which I captured from the internet, Munna was an 8th standard dropout and he was working in a garage. During his part time, he built this helicopter for two years, but unfortunately, it took his life, which was very unfortunate. Today, we would like to analyze from engineering point of view the video which was captured during the trial runs. Of course, the views which I am going to express are from a limited information which I could able to gather from internet. Please do your due diligence before using this information. After observing the uh, slow motion snapshots of the video, we can clearly say that the failure mode could be the unbalanced mass of rotating plates. Now we will try to understand about the rotational unbalance which is a common problem encountered in all rotating machinery. Basically this rotational unbalance is developed due to unequal distribution of mass around the axis of rotation. In practice which we cannot completely avoid but we can limit this to an acceptable limits. In order to understand the rotating unbalance concept we will first consider an automobile wheel which has some unbalanced mass which you can see as a green part on the wheel. The red arrows on the wheel indicates the amount of force developed during the rotation of the wheel which you can clearly observe a major portion of the force generated in the location of green mass which in turn develops vibrations inside of the vehicle. Due to this reason we do wheel balancing on regular basis. In similar to the wheel, you can also observe same phenomena with the tail rotor system. If the rotating blade weights are not properly balanced, this can happen due to material defects, design or manufacturing of the parts. Let us assume that the rotating unbalanced mass M is located at a distance of E from the point of rotation when the rotor is rotating with speed omega. The centrifugal force developed is Fc is equal to Me omega square. Here Fc is proportional to omega square. So what is that mean by as your speed uh, of rotor is increasing the centrifugal force increases with a much higher rate. This centrifugal force develops an internal stress inside of the component as F by A and this if this exceeds the allowable stress of the material the blade can fail. This might be the one of the reason which has happened in the case of Munna's helicopter. Even if this force is not able to break the part which will generate vibrations on the supporting bearing, in turn it can also vibrate the tail section of the helicopter. So now we will carefully observe the important events occurred from the video. Initially Munna started increasing the speed of the rear rotor and it's and it looks perfect but suddenly there was a failure of rotor blades. In the next shot we can clearly observe the two parts coming out from the rear rotor in the radial direction which could be the unbalanced rotor blades. Due to this the remaining portion of the tail rotor system become unbalanced which in turn hit the main rotor and cut the one of the main rotor 
since the main rotor is connected to the main supporting structure and in turn the whole helicopter got collapse friends this is what i feel about the failure but please let me know your thoughts 